I made a YouTube video and I said, I'm two steps ahead. I literally typed up a Batman monologue and read it. Reddit. I mean, good reference. You did look like a Reddit bot, but what is this inception? Yes, because I just acted gaining 250 pounds. Who in their right mind does a social experiment gaining 250 pounds for five years in a row? You, my brother in Christ. But at this point, I honestly couldn't tell you. He could be jacked for all I know. He could still be obese. He could be four steps ahead or six feet under. I'm actually really smart. And what was the result of that video? Millions of people believed it. Y'all have the IQs of a bag of rocks. At least we ain't built like a bag of rocks. All right, he set himself up for that one. You can't blame me. Baba Bowie. WestJet. What is up, Ubers and famous YouTubers? WestJet 655, Venezuelan trillionaire here and today. We're talking about Nikocado Avocado. Oh, and literally, 0% of you are subscribed, so be sure to subscribe. Yeah, yeah. Nikocado's up to some silly, goofy shenanigans, if you know what I mean. He's trying to make it seem like his two steps ahead video was premeditated again. Some conspiracy theories are coming out. The before-after transformation is crazy, and at the end of the day, we don't know. He could have had the skin surgically removed. Well, obviously it was real. You could literally see the stretch marks. This guy's beat a little schizo, to be honest. Kakado is indeed YouTube's biggest villain, because even after his weight loss, people are still thinking he's fat because he's making him think that way. And then you wonder why he calls you ants. We've all been played by this evil genius. Oh my god. I'm scared for society, actually. You don't have to get extra cheese on your burger to be scared for society. I don't really understand where he's coming from, but I digress. Y'all... Need to go to school. Learn something! Low-key true. He was always saying that he identified as skitty. We just didn't believe him. You don't gotta be a philosophical level genius to know that the internet rots your brain. But nevertheless, his video blew up. It was making rounds on Twitter, and the comments were, quite frankly, hilarious. Before I show you that, this tweet just went hella hard. Hi. <laughs> bro, we are tired of this dude. Shut the f*** up. So is he fat or not, bro? I don't know what to believe anymore. This is a pre-recorded video, I'm sure of it. Loki, people were falling straight for the trap until he released a video dancing to something called the Apple Dance, which I'm too old to know about, but nevertheless, he was trying to play it off as if nothing happened, telling people to look closely at the background and the corners of his face. Importing all preferences from home interface. I don't know, this looks pretty normal to me, dog. He also confirmed it because he was literally standing in Vegas in a video with a fight that happened last week. There is an off chance he like CGI edited it, but that's very low and unlikely to be honest. Wow, Ethan, great move. Keep it up, proud of you. Nikocado tried to fool us, but it didn't work. Albeit, he probably fooled Peepa's Awesome's child audience, but I digress. Guess who's here? <laughs> Hi. <laughs> for my birthday this month. And so in his third video back, he's doing a video with Hungry Fat Chick. The name speaks for itself. It speaks volumes, as in it represents how fat this chick really is. Hey, our channel's favorite hater is back. Let's go. Two steps ahead. I'm always two steps ahead. Two steps ahead. I'm always two steps ahead. Yeah, two steps ahead of me on the way to getting buried. Oh! I didn't know you had game like that. My fault. I want everyone to lose weight. I congratulate Nigakato for having lost the weight, but I also want him to be healthy. 100% W agree with Doug Demuro here, and I think that Nikocado's taken it a little too far. He's almost like trying too hard. He should have stopped at two steps ahead instead of trying to take a third step. I am not AI. I am not a clone. I am a real person. All right, calm down there, Mark Zuckerberg. This is my only TikTok Truth be told, I don't think you needed to get naked and oil up to prove that, but, uh, you know, a surprise to be sure, but a welcome one. Just want to thank all you guys for the really nice comments. We really got the good ending here. I mean, he came back and immediately did three mukbangs. <laughs> it's this, Asmongold based. So, I did see this. Nakado Avocado has watched all of the React videos. And mine is the closest to being true. You're a little too proud of yourself, pal. This guy's a sociopath? I don't think he's a sociopath or anything. He likes the experience of being able to do it. He is a artistic person, and he views this as something that is manifestation of that art. You have to remember, this guy went to Juilliard, the MIT for art. Yeah, he said it was an experiment. He did. And that was the best part, is he said it was all an experiment the entire time. And I remember watching this and saying to myself, the best part about this is we don't know whether that's true or not. 
don't know if y'all know this, but Nikocado also had an OF. So was spreading his booty cheeks open also part of his Omega plan? Like, I think people are low-key giving the guy a little too much credit. I don't think this was done for art. I think this was strictly done for money. A lot of commentary channels are also omitting it, which is really weird because it forces some kind of stupid narrative that he's some kind of mastermind, and albeit he did fool a lot of people, but he's still a clown at the end of the day. I can also comfortably say that, while at the same time not diminishing his progress, because that was amazing. Peasants on the page. I've been tricking you people by saying I'm on a weight loss journey by posting old photos from three years ago. What's today's Date. It's Saturday, April 1st, 2023. <laughs> I'm always two steps ahead. I don't necessarily think he's a sociopath. He's more so a troll. He finds enjoyment out of with you and it's working on a lot of people. Everyone is convinced that Nikocado Avocado is lying about his weight loss transformation. Even though Nikocado claimed that he had not filmed a video in over two years, users have began to doubt that this was real because it doesn't make sense that he could record so much content ahead of time. Even on his TikTok, he was posting videos as early as a few weeks ago and others were saying that there's literally no way someone hasn't seen him in public during this time. You realize you could order food, right? You don't need to leave your house for anything, especially if you're a millionaire. Like what kind of stupid ass shit? That. And because the Apple dance trend has only been popular for a few weeks now, there is no way that this video is pre-recorded. You're wrong. He invented the Apple dance and released it two years later. It was all part of his plan. This has been the greatest social experiment I've come to know. Certainly the greatest social experiment my entire life. I went to the Juilliard for two years. I don't know what that is. With Juilliard being the world's most prestigious music school. A user on Reddit found Nick's full list of violin achievements, of which there were certainly many. I think this is the part that fools a lot of people because obviously he's talented, but that still doesn't take away from the fact that he had an oldie f boy violin mechanic, also watched all of Nick's violin videos, concluding he was near professional. Right from the bat, I can tell that this guy plays fantastically into Videos like this help cement him the image of being a genius, and I don't really think he is that, because once again, I gotta emphasize, no genius is out there spreading their booty cheeks for a nickel. And Nick Akato is 100% right. People are ants. They're willing to overlook everything just because he lost weight. Now, on the WestJet channel, we could celebrate the weight loss. Woohoo! Go W King. Like, we gotta stop giving this guy so much credit. He ain't the genius. He's still a lol cow. He just lost the cow. But he could very well be a genius if he subscribed to WestJet channel with a notification bell on it.